So Caribbean decor is actually something that's really close to my heart because I am Puerto Rican, so from the islands per se, and color is a really big thing for us. We love color and a lot of people from the Caribbean love color, and so infusing it into your home is really easy. Just remember where, you know, more on the mainland here in America, you do a lot of the um, creams and taupes and that's what you find predominantly. So just go a little bit bolder. So if you have an accent chair, make sure that it's a really fun material. Make sure it's got a bold texture to it and pattern. Wall colors are really great. You'll also find a two-toneness um, in the wall color. So it's not like perfect. You know, you'll have a chair rail without the wood of just a two-tone color on a wall. So let's say you have a really vibrant ocean blue on the bottom and then on top you have like a buttery yellow or white. You find that kind of look in the Caribbean quite a bit. Also you have a lot of shears and whites for curtains, not really heavy materials, so you don't have like what you would normally find you know, in the cooler climates. You don't have a lot of velvets and things like that. So just make sure that the window treatment fabric is really airy, it's really breathable. Add in your pops of color. Pottery, we love pottery, so pottery in different places. And just get really ethnic with it. So if you have something that maybe, you know, you're really pulled to a certain island or something that's really interesting to you, bring that out a little bit in the artwork. Make sure that the woods feel very tribal and very earthy. No sleek and no lines that are are, you know just very clean edge you want to make sure that there's some knots and some wormholes in the woods that you choose so I think that if you stick with some of those basics you'll have a home that at the end of the day you'll feel like you're on vacation <laughs>